Pope. How is he? How long's he out for? And when was the last time you saw a punctured lung on a football field? I haven't. Uh, I'm seeing it before. It's quite an unusual injury. I think you can either get it from a stab, a stab wound, a uh, gunshot wound, a punctured lung, or the way that the ribs split and and splay. Then you know if it if it, if it goes in direct, then it punches it. So um, Popey come out late yesterday. Spent a couple of days in uh, Peter Hospital. Um, our our physio Morgs, you know, spent all yesterday with him, and, and, and we got him back home. And we were trying to, you know, drain his, his lung off. So it's been obviously a lot worse than we anticipated when I first saw it. But at half time, you know, Pope is he's, he's as tough as a player that I've worked with in terms of uh, robust and strong and mentally strong, and uh, never misses a day of training. And at half time, when I saw him, uh, you knew that there was something a bit more mm. sinister, and uh, you know. Morg's got him. Morg's got him over to the hospital, and, and straight away they sort of acted on it. So, uh, you know, obviously he's in the right place, and and, and he'll get mended. In terms of um, the recovery, the the wounds got a, got a heal on the lung, and um, obviously the ribs, the three or stroke four ribs have got a have got a heal as well. So it's a it's a double it's a double injury side that that we that we don't really know a timeline. It could be. Uh, anything between six and nine weeks, so uh, you know he's he's gonna not gonna be with us. He can't let you do anything for the next three weeks. No exercise, nothing to you know strain his internal organs. So yes, yeah, it's, it's it's gonna be a, a bit of a blow to us because uh, you know he's been he's been outstanding this season for us, and uh, you know he's been a big foil um, for what we've done going forward. But um, that's where we're at with it. It's, it's an injury that you that you. You can't second guess. It's, it is what it is, and there'll be a time a time restriction to it. But the form he's been in as well, he's, he's going to be a massive miss for you. He will be. Um, you know, he's, he's led the line fantastic. Well, I think you know him and Vorni have uh, you know linked up well together. Um, so he is, you know, and then we can see if there's maybe something alternative out there, or um, you know, or whether we've got to utilise one, you know, one of our Midfielders to play a little bit higher up. It's we, we've, we've got to now come to the solution because we are in a in a in a, in a transfer window where it's shut and uh, we've got to utilise the squad, um, coach, coach a different um, from a tactical point of view, or if there's a replacement out there, sort of have a look. So we're looking at all different ways to try and cope with with that potential problem. One option is, is Chris Brown. Is he any closer? He's probably f four weeks off without nailing the timeline. Uh, he's potentially four weeks off. He's at Lilith Hall this week, having an intensive week. Sorry, at St George's Park, uh, having an intensive week to see if we can just progress it on. And um, we'll have good intel on that on Friday, hopefully, when he's um, when him and Morg sort of sit down and, and discuss that one. You're going into another busy schedule again, a couple of derby games, three games in a week. Does the fact that it's, it's the derby game on Saturday, does that make the preparation any different from normal? No, you know, purposely you do that. It's, um, I think coming up to the end of the week, you know, we'll, we'll let the players know, you know, what it means to the supporters and what it means to, to the time to, you know, make sure that you turn up in, you know, you've got to turn up in all games, but you just add that significance that it is, it is different. And, uh, but the preparation in terms of what we do and how we do it, uh, you know, we give the team this week details on the opposition. Uh, we filter that in early part of the week, um, you know, and then we work on what we're going to do towards the back end of the week. So it doesn't change, um, and it shouldn't change because you know you're trying to get them physically ready and mentally ready for um, for another League One game, which um, there's not many easy ones in this league. One thing they do get when they, when they come out of the dressing room or come onto the pitch at Rochdale is just a wall of noise across the pitch. Yeah, you know, it's uh, the, the way Rochdale Stadium sets up, it's the first thing you sort of see and you come out to. Um, the, you know, the, the fans have been fantastic, you know, at, uh, you know down at Rochdale. So it's, it's one of them, um, it does hit you straight away and uh, the players have got to feel that and, and take that on board and, and stay on, on, the, on the game plan that we're going to set out. I suppose one big plus that you got this weekend is Tom Swords, Jacob Mellish back. They, they were missed badly last weekend. They were missed um, 
for me, Salzy, wherever I've played him over the last you know, two and a half years, he's been fantastic and uh, he's settled. You, you do get partnerships sometimes that do just work, and uh, you know, the Port, Port Vormont works, uh, you know, but Salzy and Mellish, that partnership's flourished, and um, in a two, they've both looked after each other at times, they both know where each other needs to be in possession, out of possession. And um, you know they've been two very consistent performers. Mel's is probably in the best form since we've uh, we've brought him to the club, and um, you know he, that's that's a lot of hours of dedication from the staff and himself to get himself to the level he's at now. And um, we've worked really hard while he's been um, while he's been suspended on on making sure that he's from a physical point of view he's he's at the top of his game. And um, yeah, he. he they were a miss and, and it gives them an opportunity to come back into into a, a big game. Even though they were suspended last week and they were both down at Peterborough, both wanted to be a part of it, is that important? Massive. It's, you know, we went over to um, Bradford and uh, Anthony Kay and Zell Ishmael wanted to, wanted to go over there and be over there. Um, you know, and that's what I've got in the squad, Leon Barnett travelled down and, and Leon wanted to be down, uh, down at Peterborough. So, um, and he got fined for it in his velvet jacket that was arranged been fined for that. It weren't club issue. So he's he's, he's had a double whammy really. He's, he's gone down there and then got fined for the jacket he was wearing. <laughs> but no, like, they, there's a great feel to the squad, great balance and uh, you know they, they want each other to do well. They genuinely want each other to do well and uh, whether you know whether you're in the team or out of the team or injured, there's a genuine um, feeling for each other in the squad.